Tonight we are paying it forward to a family who knows what it means to be down and out. Once homeless due to health and recovery issues, they're now back on their feet with a new lease on life and a passion to help those who are, are desperate for a hand up. So we, we try to get the basics like socks and hats, um, gloves. Amy Ryland showing us how she gets her stockings of hope together to help the homeless. Amy and her husband Bobby, along with a little help from their two-year-old son Diesel, make this a family effort. The Rylands know what it means to be on the streets. We're homeless. Um, it's terrible just the way that people are treated, you know, inhumane, and we just want to try to help them feel like they're somebody and give back. Um, you know, it's hard to be outside in the cold and hungry, and especially at Christmas, and not get anything. So. You don't get a Christmas gift when you're homeless. You know, that's one of the things we miss most. And just to give them something to let them know they're still loved, they're humans too, you know. Through donations and a lot of their own money, Amy and Bobby are hoping to do 300 stockings this holiday season to hand out to the needy in the homeless camps in Oklahoma City. Some stockings, as funds allow, will even include special blankets to ward off the night chill. They provide money for hotel rooms, too, when they can afford it. Their friend, Alicia McConnell, has seen the Rylance journey from homeless to helping hands. It just brings me hope as well. When you guys are out doing God's work and you've overcome everything that you have been through and you're giving back to people who need it the most, there's things that we take for granted on a daily basis and you're bringing some hope this Christmas to people who need it the most. What the Rylands don't know is we were there doing more than a daily news story on their mission. Well, the gang's inside, and I'm here with Alicia and Zach from First Fidelity Bank. Zach has something he needs to give Alicia so we can get this pay it forward party started here. Zach? And on behalf of the bank, we would like to pay this money forward to you guys. And uh, just on behalf of the Simcox family and all of the First Fidelity family, uh, we want to thank you. Thank you. Then it was back inside where Amy, Bobby, and Diesel were wondering where we had gone. We kind of got you here under false pretenses. We are going to do a story on your charity, but we also have a program called Pay It Forward, where somebody who's doing something wonderful gets recognized for it, and your friend Alicia thought you guys would be the perfect people to nominate, and she has something for you. Come on, Alicia. Amy, I want to present this $400 for your stockings Thank of hope. Thank you, Alicia. Thank you for blessing our community. <laughs> Thank, you. Thank you for being a beacon of hope. Thank you. Thank doing you God's so work. Much. Thank you. <laughs> and for Amy and Bobby, paying it back to the streets of broken dreams is their way of battling what they lived firsthand when they too were desperate for a hand up. Oh, it blesses me. It makes me happy. And just knowing that I can help somebody and maybe make them feel a little bit more human. Now, they're from Sayre right now, and they do things for the homeless there, but they travel to Oklahoma City where the big homeless population is. And when they were delivering the stockings this morning, the Rylands ran into a homeless person who helped them when they were all homeless three years ago. They were able to give that person a stocking and talked him into going to a homeless shelter. If you'd like to donate to the Rylands ministry, there is a GoFundMe link in our story on this story on KFOR.com.